The 1960s was an era of big thoughts, and yet, amazingly, each of Z these thoughts could fit on a t-shirt. Anyway, no drug, not even alcohol, causes the fundamental ills of society. If we're looking for the source of our troubles, we shouldn't test people for drugs. We should test them for stupidity, ignorance, greed, and love of power. When buying and selling are controlled by legislation, the first things to be brought and sold are legislators. The world is being run by irresponsible, spoiled brats. You know your children are growing up when they stop asking you where they came from and refuse to tell you where they're going. If government were a product, selling it would be illegal. Cleanliness becomes more important when godliness is unlikely. The proper behavior all through the holiday season is to be drunk. This drunkenness culminates on New Year's Eve when you get so drunk, you kiss the person you're married to. The whole idea of our government is this. If enough people get together and act in concert, they can take something and not pay for it. There is only one basic human right, the right to do as you damn well please. And with it comes the only basic human duty, the duty to take the consequences. Once you've built the big machinery of political power, remember you won't always be the one to run it. You can't get rid of poverty by giving people money. Why can't death, if we must have it, be always glorious, as in the Iliad? Ending wars is very simple if you surrender. Let's reinduce corporal punishment in the schools and use it on the teachers. Politicians are wonderful people as long as they stay away from things they don't understand, such as working for a living. If you ask the government to solve all your problems, it's a bit like asking your wife to cook and clean, to raise the children, to hold down a second job to help with the family finances, to keep her parents happy and well, and keep your parents happy and well, and to also to do the lawn and clean the gutters. Until I carried my wife off to New Hampshire, she defined wilderness as the Bronx. Even very young children need to be informed about dying. Explain the concept of death very carefully to your child. This will make threatening him with it much more effective. Never wear anything that panics the cat. Everybody knows how to raise children except the people who have them. Because of their size, parents may be difficult to discipline properly. Being a humorist is not a voluntary thing. You can tell this because in a situation where saying a funny thing will cause a lot of trouble, a humorist will still say the funny thing, no matter how inappropriate. Term limits aren't enough. We need jail. Political leaders are expert at saying nothing. New Hampshire polling data are unreliable because when you call the Granite State's registered Republicans and independents in the middle of dinner and ask them who they're going to vote for, they have a mouthful of mashed potatoes and you can't understand what they say. Pete Seeger is a modest, unassuming, cheerful, and kind-natured man. He's a good folk singer, if you can stand folk singing. And he's such an excellent banjo player that you almost don't wish you had a pair of wire cutters. Raining on parades requires no skill or effort on part of the politician. Nobody likes insurance companies, especially health insurance companies. The idea of news broadcast once was to find someone with information and broadcast it. 
the idea now is to find someone with ignorance and spread it around. Maybe climate change is a threat, and maybe climate change has been tarted up by climatologists trolling for research grant cash. It doesn't matter. When I board an airplane these days, all the middle-aged men are dressed like me when I was an eight-year-old. They're in shorts and t-shirts, and it's not just on airplanes. It's in business offices, teachers' lounges, and churches. A penny will not buy a penny postcard or a penny whistle or a single piece of penny candy. It will not even, if you're managing the U.S. Mint, buy a penny. The weirder you're going to behave, the more normal you should look. It works in reverse, too. When I see a kid with three or four rings in his nose, I know there is absolutely nothing extraordinary about that person. There's one more terrifying fact about old people. I'm going to be one soon. Staying married may have long-term benefits. You can elicit much more sympathy from friends over a bad marriage than you ever can from a good divorce. Never be unfaithful to a lover except with your wife. Crazy old people are our entire source of polling information. The body is forever teaching us lessons. There are all sorts of things that we can't do, shouldn't do, had better not do very often, or do for too long as, as long as we get older. The body makes its presence known. The First Amendment not only says Congress shall make no law respecting and establish of religion, it can disrespect all at once. All of the American educational system's problems, none is more severe than the academic year beginning before Labor Day. In midlife, we're as dumb as we get. If you are young and you drink a great deal, it will spoil your health, slow your mind, make you fat. In other words, turn you into an adult. Always read something that will make you look good if you die in the middle of it. Never fight an inanimate object. America wasn't founded though, so we could all be better. America was founded so we could be all be anything we damned well please. A very quiet and tasteful way to be famous is to have a famous relative. Then you can not only be nothing, you can do nothing too. The mystery of government is not how Washington works but how to make it stop. Gossip is what you say about the objects of flattery when they aren't present. There is one th thing women can never take away from men. We die sooner. A humorist doesn't really do that much note-taking. We need a government, alas, because of the nature of humans. I really meet a politician that I don't like personally. They are generally well endowed with charm. Therein lies the danger. Southern California is a nice place. If you could cut out the show business cancer, it just keeps spreading. I'm old enough to remember when the air over American cities was a lot dirtier than it is now. My wife and I both come from Irish families. There are two kinds of Irish families, the hitting kind and the kidding kind. If you're fortunate, and both of us are, you come from the kidding kind of Irish family. People will tell you anything, but what they do is always the truth. I read good. I was an English major. Finland is a rich country. What have they got? They got Nokia phones and plywood. How'd they get so rich? Because they're free. Something is worth what somebody will pay for it. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Distracting a politician from governing is like distracting a bear from eating your baby. Healthcare is not about insurance. Healthcare is about getting treatment. Politics is the attempt to achieve power 
and prestige without merit. I like to have interesting things to write about, and when someone's and when one says something is interesting, one almost always means bad. If we were to, were to inspect ourselves or members of our family and our friends, we'd see that they don't really have to go all the way overseas to be mystified. We can be mystified right at home. One thing about making jokes is that you don't have to prove them. One of the few benefits of being a journalist is that you're not in the army. The job of the President of the United States is to talk to the public, is to explain to them. Now, some presidents talk too much, like Bill Clinton. Some presidents try to talk, but you don't, but don't know how, like George Bush Sr. I believe in God. God created the world. Death is so important that God visited death upon his own son, thereby helping us learn right from wrong well enough that we may escape death forever and live eternally in God's grace. Politics won't allow for the truth. The Bible is very clear about one thing. Using politics to create, create fairness is a sin. If you think health care is expensive now, just wait till it's free. We journalists don't have to step on roaches. All we have to do is turn on the kitchen light and watch the critters scutter. The good thing about SUVs is they have storage. As a former writer for the National Lampoon, I've probably contributed to the sea of sarcasm in which we live. Teasing and a sense of humor, if you can develop that in your kids, and if you can exercise it with your kids, just makes for a pleasanter atmosphere. People love to be told what they know already. If there are three words that need to be used more in American journalism, commentary, politics, personal life, it's the magic words, I don't know. Writing is agony. I hate it. Politics is one field you don't age out of. The one thing that's terrible about traveling for fun is writing about it. Opinions of language are as interesting as opinions of arithmetic. No Americans want to see someone lose their house because of health bills. Their boat, maybe, maybe the boat, but not the house. I'm on Medicare now. If I go and have a big operation, it costs me nothing. It should cost me a little. I'm not rich, but I can afford a few grand if I have to have my appendix taken out. I can pitch in a little bit. My whole family can talk. They are all car salesmen. They are all funny. The most futuristic aspect of the house of the future was that it was made almost entirely of plastic. Each child is biolog biologically required to have a mother. Fatherhood is a well-regarded theory, but motherhood is a fact. The budget doesn't have much control over the government. Then again, the government doesn't have much control over the budget. When a government runs out of lenders, it can do something that households are forbidden to do, print money. I usually agree with Rush Limbaugh, therefore I usually don't listen to him. I like to argue with the radio. Arguing in the sense of attempting to convince others has gone out of fashion with conservatives. I'm fascinated by political enthusiasm. When I was 15, I dreamed of living in the big city, as many a young person does if he is artistic and sensitive. By artistic and sensitive, I mean short, skinny, unkissed, bad at sports, and carrying a C average in high school. The U.S. tax code was written by A students, 
Every April 15th, we have to pay somebody who got an A in accounting to keep ourselves from being sent to jail. The C student starts a restaurant. The A student rates restaurant reviews. A farm today means 100,000 chickens in a space the size of a Motel 6 shower stall. I have never twittered or tweeted or even chirped. By PJ O'Rourke. Thanks for watching.